nobody underneath, and Bradley clears it away. They were still across the half court line. So the Pelicans started five for 15, one of four of their triples. Ingles on the bench. And JJ Redick had 38 to play, and the Pels right now on a seven to nothing run, back within 11. All right, you just continue to fight. Continue to fight. Ingles batted away. Drew fight. Holiday got a piece of it. J.J. Redick needs the rearview mirror. It's Holiday on the run. Up against Jeff Green. Take it into the hole. And, and I like this. Jeff Green's back. And good to see him helping. Now Bogdanovich. Not a ball handler. Drew Holiday almost took it away. Angles finds Moutier. And at the end of the shot clock. They're still shooting. 12 of 18. Hitting two-thirds of their shots. Lonzo Ball. Mid-range. Not close. I like what he did, though. Really created space on the crossover guy that's going to step up unexpected. And you keep saying, because for me, I would wear, rather see the one guy step up on this end. You know, you can hit shots, but you're not going to get back in this game until you start putting some stops together. Because suppose the Bellin team's out, he needs to attack that space. Yeah, he's got four or five inches on the guy guarded right. on Donovan Mitchell. Now Ingles. Hey! And good team without fouling. Frank Jackson straight up and down. Up movement, player movement. Frank Jackson's cut freed up Etwan on the weak side of the floor. That's good basketball, and it's hard to go. Etwan coming off a season high 19. Donovan Mitchell on the lead and the. He wants that pick. And now he gets the switch he wants as well for the mid range. It'll be ball deep three. Man, was that deep. And deflected by Green, directed it to Joe Ingles. It'll be a block. No, they're going to come a charge. Dante Exum with a rare appearance. He can't stay on the floor. And that's been the story of his career. They're still trying to figure out what he can play at a high level at the, end, at the NBA. He's always going to execute on this end. Frank Jackson coming off the pick. Good look. And the pop. Too strong. Ingles will clear it away. Melly trying to make him work. So it stays at 11. On the run, Moody in the big guard. And he'll get there. I can't believe the Knicks didn't think of how good. Good ball. That's the way to do it. Etwan Moore. Short. It'll be Etwan going to the hole. Didn't get the roll. Cubs can't get it right now. And they get the ball inside. Donovan Mitchell creates space by going into Brandon Ingram. Smart play. But he also. Not close. So Bradley got the job done. What's it going to be with Dante Exum? What kind of career is he going to have? Angles is short. He's handling the ball to change direction or bear them out toward the sideline or toward half court. It's a straight line drive. Ball coming up short. He's now one for eight. Stays at 18. And tapped away by Kenridge Williams. A long, a good play defense. The lines over the couple of triples off the bench here in the third. That is his second on his fifth attempt. Inside Jackson. Hayes had something to do with it, didn't he? And it's going to be a foul. And Frank Jackson will have it. Ten on the shot clock. Lonzo Ball. Over Niang mid-range. Heartbreak. That stay it out. Tried to go down. Donovan Mitchell. Drew Holiday. Moving pick. Remember all the moving picks when they had that motion offense? Which That's and so... That is so... Discipline by Drew. Drew in the corner, triple on its way. Jackson Hayes popped it free. Well, and plus, when Donovan Mitchell brings it back, he's got a finger roll in the rim, but no, he brings but, it but back and is, exposes it, it. It's when you have fouls like that, a lot of guys won't contest. Conley sets it up. The drive and kick. It'll work. There's that guy. You got it. Donovan. Extra pass. Good luck. Can't complain with the look and the shot, but a tough one. Frank 0 for 5 back home where he played his high school ball. It'll be Joe Ingles. We know what he can do. And Ingram gets the bucket. He's got 23. So he's got 15 points in the second half after a struggle in the first half, at least shooting-wise. And it's going to be a foul on Ingles away from the ball. Jeff Gert. Eight plus to play. Too much dribbling. It'll be Frank Jackson. And that's what they force you to do when they switch everything. When they switch it all, they force you to play one-on-one -on -one basketball. And just like in the first half, you bail them out with long jump shots. And Jeff Green looked like he had a little.